So I got this email from my colleague that we'll call Bill. And the subject of the email was, don't miss this boat for the fourth or fifth time. In this email, Bill is basically begging me to buy Bitcoin. He recommends investing $20,000 at a minimum. Me being the respectful, considerate person that I am, responded like this. In summary, I tell Bill to go pound salt because, in my opinion, Bitcoin is basically a useless, worthless fool's gold. It has no intrinsic value and therefore it has no reason to exist. Meanwhile, having the benefit of hindsight, I now know that this $20,000 that Bill asked me to invest last year would be worth about $67,000 today if I had appreciated his recommendation. Clearly, I made a bad call, and I allowed my ignorance and personal biases to obscure a real opportunity to make a lot of money. In this video, I want to rewind the clock to November 14th, 2019, and use modern portfolio theory to create an investment strategy that limits my losses but still allows me to participate and capture some of that amazing cryptocurrency upside profit. So please stick around because today we're going to create a real Frankenstein portfolio that I'm going to call the Boglehead Core Coin Strategy. This new hybrid strategy is going to be one of the portfolios that I profile in my 2021 portfolio challenge. So be sure to subscribe if you want to follow this strategy's performance with me throughout the new year. Can you put a price on your level of bullishness? We are extremely bullish. Uh, our confidence in it has gone up since 2017 because what we saw as, as it dropped from 20,000 to below 4,000, it actually got in well into the threes, I think in 2019, uh, was that Bitcoin's share of the crypto asset ecosystem moved from the low 30% range in terms of value, network values, into the low 70% range. And what did that tell us? That confirmed in our mind that Bitcoin is the reserve currency of the, the crypto asset ecosystem. Uh, so it is the reserve cryptocurrency, which is a very important role. It's the flight to safety currency. Uh, it is Bitcoin's technology is the most secure of any other blockchain. And so it makes sense that Bitcoin would be the reserve currency of the crypto asset ecosystem. Okay, so the goal here is that we want Bitcoin in our portfolio, but we need to do this in as safe a way as possible. We know from modern portfolio theory that adding small amounts of a very volatile asset can actually reduce the risk in our entire overall portfolio. The first step in this process is to make sure that whatever's in the portfolio that we're going to add Bitcoin to is neutral or negatively correlated with Bitcoin, since you get the best risk reduction from non-correlated assets. Here's a correlation report for the S&P 500 and the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The Grayscale Trust is just a Bitcoin derivative that provides a way for institutional investors like pension funds and endowments to access Bitcoin. We can see that there is essentially no correlation between these two assets. Well, technically anything above zero is positive, but this is low enough for us. Look at that annual standard deviation. Holy cow! That pretty much says everything you need to know about whether you should ever consider investing in Bitcoin on its own outside of a larger portfolio. I'm thinking that the best portfolio to slot Bitcoin into is probably Rick Ferry's Core 4 portfolio, which is a boglehead strategy. You'll remember from Episode 4 of Portfolio Analysis that the Core 4 strategy consisted of four asset classes. 48% U.S. Stocks Index, 24% International Stock Index, 20% U.S. Bond Index, and 8% U.S. Real Estate Index. Our Frankenstein Core Coin Portfolio is going to be made up of 48% U.S. Stocks Index, 24% International Stock Index, 20% Long-Term U.S. Treasuries, and 8% Bitcoin. Just so we have a baseline to compare it to, we're going to run a backtest for this portfolio. 
The back test is going to be from January 2015 to November 2020. The first value that really sticks out to me is the standard deviation of our core coin portfolio. Remember that Bitcoin on its own had a 150% standard deviation. Swapping out the real estate for Bitcoin only added 7 percentage points of risk. This minor asset swap increased our annual return from 8% to 26%. That's just amazing. The worst year is 12% versus 6% for the original core four. Check out that max drawdown. Our Bitcoin holding portfolio actually suffered a lower max drawdown than the old boring core four. Obviously, hindsight is 2020, but these results are truly incredible. Let's dig a little deeper into the backtest results. Here's that max drawdown again. We can see that the core coin portfolio had the lowest drawdown of the three portfolios. The core coin strategy generated 15% alpha above the S&P 500 benchmark, which is crazy impressive. The sharp ratio also looks really good. Now, what I'm most interested in is this historical 5% value at risk. The value at risk metric is a monthly probability projection that calculates the amount of money you have at risk while invested in any given month. The 5% historical value at risk is just 5.6%, which means, assuming that the market is functioning under normal circumstances, that if we were required to hedge our risk, we would only need to insure about 5.6% of our portfolio from potential losses in any given month. That's really good. All right, so looking over the back test, eh, it looks great. So let's recap the strategy. We're going to call this portfolio the Boglehead Core Coin Strategy. The reason we're going to call it by that name is because Boglehead investors appreciate rules based investing that limits fees, risks, and most of all, human emotions. This new strategy is going to be made up of 48% US total stock market index. 24% International Stock Market Index, 20% Long-Term U.S. Treasuries, and 8% Bitcoin. I'm going to use M1 to purchase all the stocks and bonds, and BlockFi for the Bitcoin. BlockFi is currently paying 6% annual interest to hold your Bitcoin, so I mean, why not take that free 6% return? If you're interested in this and getting that interest, please consider using my affiliate link in this video's description. I will get a small commission for that. Okay, so what's my assessment of our core coin portfolio based on the back testing? Well, frankly, I'm speechless. It's amazing. Now, in fairness, Bitcoin could have gone to zero or it could have lost a ton of money, which would have led to a very different outcome entirely but given that we've included Bitcoin in a small percentage and we're monitoring the risk probabilities each and every month, I have absolutely no problem recommending this portfolio to anyone in the aggressive accumulation phase of their savings journey. 